Hi everyone, today I will be showing you how to make a condom catheter which we can use for intrauterine balloon tamponade in a patient who has had atonic PPH. Now the ideal catheter is the Bakri tube but that is expensive and it's not very commonly available. So what we can use in place of a Bakri and which should be there in all obstetric centers is a condom catheter and everyone should know how to make this catheter because when the time arises it's very difficult to then look around for things. So this is how we make an intrauterine balloon tamponade using a condom catheter. So what we need is, we need a Foley's, a simple Foley's catheter, we need a syringe, we need scissors and we need a condom. So these are the things that we need to make the catheter. The first thing we do is we take the scissors and we cut two small rings like this from this end. And this is required because these will act like rubber bands when we fix the condom onto the catheter. So I've cut two small rims like this. Okay, and that is what we will use later on. The next thing we do is using air, we inflate the bulb of the Foley's. So just take 5 ml of air in the syringe and we will inflate the bulb. So you can see the bulb is inflated there. I'll just inflate a bit more. And what we'll do is now, now we, we will we will cut this bulb. We've cut the bulb and what will this allow us? Why have we done this? Because when we inflate the line, it will it will fill the entire condom. Next we take the condom and we put it over the catheter like this. And then using those rubber bands which we had cut earlier, we're going to tie it around the catheter. So we take the first one and we put it around the catheter like this. Okay, it should be somewhere around here and we'll take two ties around it so that we make sure it's tight. Now we take the other um, rubber band and we put it at a lower level somewhere here. So you can see we put the two rubber bands and we've tied the rubber band twice around the condom. Now what we do is we take the scissors and we cut the tip of the condom with the catheter. This is going to allow for drainage to take place. So while the catheter will create a tamponade once we fill it with saline, this tip will allow blood which is collecting inside the uterus, if any, it will allow it to come outside. So here we have the tip which acts as a drainage. Now what we'll do is we'll fill saline and we'll show you how the catheter will fill up. So now we'll fill saline in the catheter and you can see it is filling up. So you uh, approximately 300 to 500 ml of saline is required to create a sufficient intrauterine tamponade. The other end can be connect connected to a euro bag, this end to allow for drainage. So as you can see, we are inflating the catheter and the condom is filling up and this creates a good tamponade which stops the bleeding. So you can see this is the condom catheter. This end is through which we fill the saline and this end can be connected to a euro bag or a drain and this will allow drainage from within the uterus, the blood to come out. So this is how you fashion an intrauterine balloon catheter uh, using a condom.